Welcome to Gumpway Live Cops, where I show how I cop items using this computer, bots, and other resources. If you're interested in learning how to bot, or just interested in watching Live Cops, then let's get into it. What is the best bot to get as a beginner? In this video, we're going to break that down. We are looking at Bot Broker on the screen. I'm not going to drag this out. We're going to jump right into it. It's going to be a very informative video but there's a lot we have to cover. First and foremost, as a beginner, I do not recommend going out and buying a bot. Make sure you like sneaker botting. Make sure you want to continue doing it before you go and spend something like $1,500 like we see here for Raph on a sneaker bot right out the gate. You can rent bots. We'll cover that towards the end of the video. And with renting bots, you can get them for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the cost. And you can try them out and see if it's something you like. Now keep in mind when running a sneaker bot, Everything does not save inside of the bot, meaning that the person that rented it to you won't have access to your information. It saves inside of your computer. So if you were to go out and rent Wrath, you know, put all your information in there and then your rentals up and then you go rent another copy of Wrath down the road, everything's saved to your computer. So when you open up Wrath or whatever bot, it'll still be inside of there. It doesn't save to the bot. So it's a question I get asked a lot. I just want to get that out of the way really quick. So we have a few different kinds of sites we can buy. We have sites like Hibbit, we have sites like Foot Sites, we have sites like Shopify, and we have retail sites, which is like Walmart, uh, Target, you name it, things like that, right? And all these different sites have their benefits and their perks, and all these different sites have their own specific bots that work on these sites. Now, obviously, we come over to Bot Broker and we see a bot like Mech shows Shopify, Foot Sites, finish line this isn't necessarily accurate right so for example mech AO does not really work on foot sites it is not a bot that i would purchase for foot sites and raf AO does not really work on foot sites so a lot of beginners come in and they see this and they think okay this bot works on shopify and foot sites i'm gonna start botting foot sites it, do it doesn't really work like that and it should because these bots have worked on foot sites in the past but what you have to understand as a beginner coming into this is these sites are always evolving and what happens with sneaker bots is sneaker bots will go towards what is the most profitable, what makes the most sense for our users to run. Now, a site like Foot Sites that's rarely dropping in the US isn't really a module inside of the bot that these bot developers are going to want to consistently update. Now, does that mean that Wrath couldn't update and make it work for Foot Sites? No, of course. Um, it can work on foot sites. It could work on foot sites. It just means that it is not the best performing bot on foot sites currently. Right now, Wrath is focused more on Shopify, JD, um, some other sites, and they're performing very well on sites like that. So as a beginner, you have to understand that you can't look at something like this and think that if I go out and purchase CyberSoul, it's going to work on foot sites, Mesh, Offway, uh, Shopify, Supreme, all these sites. Now, CyberSoul kind of does work on all these sites um, to an extent, but you have to really do a lot of research on this, and this is why I always recommend joining a cook group. Now, obviously I have a cook group. You don't have to join mine. Um, but what I'm saying here is if you join a cook group, you can ask people who have been in the game for a long time, Hey, I want to go for foot sites. What's the best bot to purchase? So for something like foot sites, for example, and this is something that you don't even see here on the screen currently. Uh, I think Vite is one of the top performing bots, which I have up here at the top of my screen. Vite is a command line interface bot. So I'll open it up for you in a second here. But this is something that you're not going to be able to see on a site like Bot Broker, right? This is kind of what it looks like. It is, it can look a little confusing, but I have a full video on it on my channel. Um, but this is what it looks like, right? And this is a bot that you could get your hands on that uh, performs very well on foot sites right now. I think they had 450 checkouts on the Seafoam Jordan 4. I ended up getting a couple pairs. Uh, but if you're going for something like foot sites as a beginner, and that is your goal, especially if you're in Canada, um, White is a really good bot to get. But this all comes back to how you have to do research uh, when it comes to trying to purchase for a sneaker bot, right? So if you were a beginner and let's say you went on Bot Broker uh, and you're looking for a foot site bot, there really isn't a bot on here that performs well on foot sites. Now you have uh, quite a few bots that perform well on Shopify and you have one bot that actually does perform fairly well on foot sites. However, Prism isn't absolutely destroying foot sites like it used to back in the day. Uh, but Prism is a bot that does work on foot sites and it does have some success on Shopify. Now for a bot like sh for Shopify, I would go with Mech or Wrath over Prism, right? 
but it does have its perks. If you were to purchase it for foot sites, you could always come back and you could try to run it on Shopify and you might get some success. I'm not saying you wouldn't. Um, so understanding which bot you should you should get as a beginner is absolutely key. Now towards the end of this video, I'm going to cover uh, what I think the best bots for specific sites are. Uh, and speaking of Vite, when we go over to the site like Hibbit um, or Foot Sites again, there's another bot called Analog that's been performing very well also, but that isn't a bot that you see here on Bot Broker. And this isn't a bot that you're going to see on a lot of the rental platforms either. Some of these bots are kind of low key, but they absolutely rip some of these sites, right? So this is why it's so important to get yourself at least a type of mentor, I wanna call it. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go out and find some individual person who's going to teach you, but if you're not inside of a cook group and you decide to join a cook group, a cook group has tons of people that can help you. Now, obviously some of the people in there are toxic, but a good majority of them are going to answer questions. So for example, like my group, uh, we do real one-on-one -on -one support. So you actually have access to the staff when you join my group, meaning that if you ask a question like this to us, we're going to answer you with an honest answer, right? And this is super beneficial when coming into sneaker botting as a beginner, because the thing about sneaker botting is, is there's not really any way to do like real research on it, which is probably why you've come across this video. You can't just go on Google and type in what's the best proxies. Like you're not going to get an honest answer uh, like you're looking for, for let's say any other niche. If you were to go out and look at, you know, how do I get uh, items to Amazon to sell on Amazon? Like you're gonna find the answer right there. Sneaker botting is a lot different. A lot of the stuff is kept like very low key. Um, so it's a lot harder to source the information you're looking for. Meaning that if you were to join a cook group, a cook group is going to allow you access to people who know what they're doing and are going to give you most of the time the right answer on what you're looking for. I hope that makes sense. Uh, but we're gonna jump into another site here in a minute. And if you do wanna join my cook group, the link's been on the screen the whole time. You can just punch that in your browser and join. We do real one-on-one -on -one support for beginners. I say it in all of my videos. If you are new to this and you know nothing about sneaker bottom, it's totally fine. That's like 50% of our members joining. We will teach you, we'll get you hitting. Um, so if that's something you wanna be a part of, feel free to join. And obviously we provide all the resources you need for sneaker botting. Uh, but if we come over here, you can see that you can also rent a lot of bots. Now this goes back to exactly what I was saying before when it comes to sites like foot sites. You see that you don't see Vite on here. So you can't rent Vite on a site like WAP. You can't rent um, analog on a site like WAP, right? You can rent a few more bots and most of the bots that are on Bot Broker on this site, but some of these bots you need to gain access to if you're going for them. So for foot sites, we're gonna say Vite is one of the top performing bots right now. Now obviously there's a bot called Fly that works pretty well too. It actually rips foot sites, but Vite has been competing, I would say, you know, almost hand in hand with Fly. Uh, and I do like Vite a lot more. They've been around for a long time. So for this video, I'm gonna say Vite is very good for foot sites. If you're going for Hibbit and you wanna go for foot sites, I'm gonna say Analog is very well also. Uh, and if we're going for Shopify, I'm going to say Mech, Wrath, and Cyber are great Shopify bots for beginners. Now, obviously, there are some other sites that I'm not, I don't mention on YouTube. I'm not going to mention them on YouTube. You can fill in the blanks. It's a site that everybody uses. Um, and we've been doing a lot of that inside of the group too. So if that's something you'd like to learn, we can show you how to do that inside of the group. I'm just never going to put that on YouTube. Um, as for retail, there's a lot of different bots you can get for retail. Koi has been very good. KSR has been very good. I know retail has kind of died a bit. Um, if you're going for retail, it's, you know, it's a tough road to go down, but you can hit a lot of the items on there. They're not very profitable anymore. Like PlayStations were last year, sports cards, things like that. Another good bot for a beginner is Stellar. Uh, Stellar is very good for beginner retail botting. Um, as for my favorite bots right now, currently, I'm going to have to say Wrath is my favorite and I'm going to have to say Vite is my favorite. With the combination of these two bots, I've been able to get a lot of pairs. Uh, Vite is not so beginner friendly, but if you watch my uh, clean Vite setup video, it's pretty easy to understand and their guides are extremely, extremely good inside of there. So understanding how to run Vite is pretty simple. And as for Wrath, Wrath is just an all around awesome bot. We can open up my copy here just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. 
and how to actually, uh, you know, how to kind of understand the user interface a bit. Um, but this is Raft. It's fairly simple to set up uh, and it's a great bot. It's a great bot to run. So for Shopify, we're going to put Raft there. We're going to put Vite for foot sites. Um, and then you can obviously add Mech, Cyber, Fly, um, Analog as well, and some, some other bots like that. Those are gonna be my top bots when it comes to beginner botting, but I definitely recommend, once again, understanding the sites that you're going for, understanding how everything works. It's very easy to be a beginner in this and buy the wrong bot or buy the wrong proxies and throw money down the toilet. I definitely recommend investing in a cook group. Once again, it doesn't have to be mine, uh, but if you would like to join mine, we'd be happy to have you. I hope this video helped everyone. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.